Hi there YouTube, it's Melissa and today I am here, I'm going to share what my plans are for 2015, some challenges that I hope to do and also, let's see, challenges, goals for 2015 and yeah, we'll just go along with the video. <laughs> I don't like filming myself so here we go. So let's see, for 2015. I'm gonna have still the same goal of stamping on every project. So whether that is going to my Ali Edwards go-to stamps or even just a date stamp, I make sure on every card, project, layout, whatever, I stamp on it because I have, I mean, I have so much stuff that I, I need to use it. I need to justify purchasing more. The second thing I'm going to do is I am gonna stay with the 2014 goal that I had of using up at least one product going through it completely and putting it in a bucket in a bin and collectively watching it grow hopefully by the end of 2015. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stop buying ephemera packs. I feel like between the stamps and the dies that I have um, here in my space I can make my own. I have lots of um, coloring mediums with pencils and alcohol markers and um, watercolor and those types of things that I feel like I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, I can't promise anything but it, it's certainly one of the things that I'm gonna try and do whether you know I'm cutting shapes with patterned paper um, yeah I don't know I'm gonna try it and see what happens so now as far as my challenges I did I thought it would be fun for every month to post a challenge and I would love for you to join in. I think it's a great opportunity to challenge yourself to either use a product or give a new medium a try or even if the challenge is, you know, getting organized. And so right now you can see my table of Christmas stuff because I do my December daily after December. I compile all my pictures. I think I, I posted a video on how to when I project, how do, how I, project life um, a few videos ago but so I keep like I compile all my memorabilia and everything and at the end of the month I'll lay it all out print my pictures and go from there I am a scrapbooker that is caught up I hate to say that because I know there's so many people out there that aren't but I am right now I'm the pictures I have to scrap right now are all just December 2014 pictures so for me to sit down and do my December daily in January for Project Life, not a big deal. But I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, want to get ahead because they're super busy. Um, yeah, my kids are both in school, so I feel like I have a, a lot of um, quiet time on my hands. Um, not right now because they're on break, but they're letting me film this video. So anyway, so let's get started. So I made this just little piece of copy paper. This is my spot for January. Um, my goal then for January is to, well, first I will show you one thing. Get back here, my little clip it up. That little section there, those are my thickers. I don't buy thickers anymore. I stopped buying sticker, thickers a few years ago because nothing was more annoying to me than running out of letters. And between my big shot with my dies, my alphabet dies, and my cameo, I don't need... I don't need thickers anymore. I can cut thickers from foam. I can alter thickers. I can cut cardstock, pattern paper, you name it. So that works for me. That's the way I'm going with it because um, as it is right now. So back to my January challenge. I have this sheet of, these are the corrugated red alphas from Jelly Bean Soup. This is what I have left. This has been hanging in my stash. Gosh, if I say four years. I don't know. Maybe it's longer. Let's say four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge myself for January to use this completely. So if you have thickers that you are, that are just taking up space in your stash and you know you haven't gone to them in a really long time because either you don't love them anymore or there's only a handful left, I say join in with me uh, give yourself this challenge and with social media there's so many I mean right now 
I watch a lot of YouTubers. A lot of them are playing with mixed medias. So there's the opportunity to change the color of these with paint, you know, alter them. There's the opportunity to use gesso and make, you know, just a collage, a letter collage or something. I'm going to utilize Pinterest, you know, all, all the things that I have available to me. I'm going to do a search. I'm going to try to use this sheet completely up. Now, um, some of the things to keep in mind is, you know, um, if you don't have an O for a word, you know, always try to incorporate a shape, a heart, a star, where like an O would be. Um, it's a fun little filler, you know, to help utilize what you've got. Um, altering these as far as like, um, you know, a K to an L, like this alpha seems pretty easy, but I've seen tons of people take scissors to their thickers and make it work, which I applaud you because I feel like otherwise these are just kind of sitting around doing nothing. And so I'm sure that I will be using some sort of mixed media with these to try to get them used up. So, so yeah, so that's going to be my January project. I'm going to photograph yeah, or, you know, if I happen to be doing a card, you know, it's easy to make a card with a number. You can just put, you know, happy birthday to you, congrats. Um, or just do a card that says hi. And on the inside, put thinking of you or, you know, miss you. You know, um, HBTU, happy birthday to you is a fun way. LOL, you know, um, thanks for the laugh. I do cards and scrapbooking and other projects. So I haven't bought a card in 10 years because I feel like I have a lot of stuff and I can make it work. So I keep everybody on a calendar and then I know who needs a card for that month and what kind of card. And um, the only ones I ever really do just to have on hand are sympathy and, you know, thinking of you or a congrats, new job or even passing a test, an exam or whatever. I have a lot of friends and family that are in school still. College, you know, young people just trying to you know, get past that, all that stuff. Those exams are killers to some people. So most people, anyway. So, anyways, so that's my January goal. I'm, I at the end of the month I will do a share. If I've mailed out the card, I will photograph it so that you can, you know, still see what I've made. I'm gonna not set a number because I could get maybe more than five things out of here. I mean, five would be where I'm thinking, but. I could get a lot more than that. Who knows? So um, I'm going to do a search, like I said, on Pinterest. I know some ideas from some people that I watch on YouTube who use a lot of mixed media and show a lot of clever ways to use up things. I'm going to do the same with ephemera packs that I've had around for a long time. I'm going to head right to mixed media for 2015. That's my goal. I have a lot of mixed media products, but I haven't really, aside from using a couple of stencils with some embossing paste, I haven't really ventured into that. I've really wanted to, so I've purchase the products and um, so yeah this year I'm gonna dive right in well if it works great if it doesn't well I'll just reprint a picture and start over so anyways so that is that I would love to have you join in my monthly challenges I'm going to desperately desperately try to be a better blogger because I am not a great blogger but I like YouTube and I'm on Facebook cutting up Cut It Up Creations, you can find me there. I'll probably post my progress for the month, maybe some photos, and at the end of the month I'll do a video share. So if you want to wait till then. But otherwise you can find me there. And if you join in, great. Post on my page, share what you've made. I, I love to see other people's, you know, ideas. I might be able to, to lift some. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned, and um, wishing you a happy new year. I'm hoping to do some scrapping today, maybe later or tomorrow, but we'll see. All right. Thanks, guys.